Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be bringing Proxima Midnight into the Labyrinth of Legends against the Red Hulk. During that battle I'll also be examining her abilities once again because I'm a little more experienced. I'll be talking if she's a good R4 candidate and I will be talking about my thoughts if she's a good candidate for the Labyrinth of Legends. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to start off with the synergies. We'll look at the attack team that I use and the synergy she has. Uh, basically the synergies that she has is with Nebula. She gets a 15% 15, 15 attack bonus only when I'm on true strike. She also has a plus 7% attack bonus uh, with Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Vision, Age of Ultron, and Gladiator Hulk. Now she has two special synergies, one with Thor. It's called the 50 Combo Shield. Basically, uh, one of the abilities of Proxima Midnight is when she gets to 100 hits in a row, she gets one of her missions complete. Uh, but they have to be 100 hits in a row without getting hit. Uh, Thor Synergy gives her the ability to be protected for the first 50. So basically, if I got punched in the face uh, at number 44, I'd still be fine with the Synergy. But if I got hit at 51 which is over 50, I go right back down to zero. So it's a nice little bonus if you get hit at the beginning of the fight. It gives you a chance to rebuild. Uh, she also has a synergy with Corvus Clave uh, that basically takes her regular 100 combo hits down to 75, which is also nice, but of course he's not available. Uh, the attack team, we'll do this really quick. Uh, Atman and Yellow Jacket, obviously for the attack. I threw in Doctor Strange for the 7%, and I put in the Thor for the 50 combo meter. So let's get on to the battle, and uh, we'll talk about her during the battle. And if you don't want to listen, that's no problem. Just turn it down and listen to your favorite music, and uh, let's get to it. Okay, guys, here we go. We're starting off. Our first mission was assigned number two. Number two is intercepts, and yes, I did get tagged here at the beginning, but... Uh, at the very beginning, so not too bad. Number two, you have to get four intercepts. I got one already. There's number two. It's probably the hardest part of the, of the missions is to get intercepts, especially on highly aggressive guys like this. That can destroy you in one hit. You gotta watch that special one when you're intercepting as well. He loves to do it. Okay, there's the next one. So we got all the intercepts out of the way and now I'm back to the wall, which I never enjoy. So I use my special to push him back. And now we're on to mission three. Mission three is basically knocking the opponent down either by a heavy or a special attack. As you can see, she does not hit him very hard. Uh, we really got to build her up to see the maximum damage. It's probably one of the cons that we're going to talk about, how she has little damage during her regular attacks. So we're getting close here to the final. Okay, that mission is complete. The next mission is six well-timed blocks or parries, basically. Uh, again, you have to use six parries, which uh, basically decreases your uh, your limber for your opponent. So again, it's kind of a bonus for the opponent because uh, you're kind of wasting six parries just to set up your missions. But it has to be done if you want to get the real hard damage to come in. As you can see, we're up to 71 hits. Uh, once we get to 100 hits, that fourth mission will be finished. And another great thing about the 100 hits is your true strike uh, becomes permanent. So that means no more evading, no more random evades for, uh, for the Hulk which is great news. 
But again, getting there is so difficult to do all these missions. I got one more parry to do. I got it done, so now I have to do my 100 uh, hits for the fourth, and then I can start doing max maximum damage. I always worry he's gonna evade here at 98, 99. <laughs> Thankfully he didn't. I used my SP3 because I was full anyway. You're not gonna see the 400,000 you saw the other day because it's capped at 50,000 in Labyrinth of Legends. So basically, uh, during this fight, I'll be focusing on SP2 because SP2 has several parts and every part can do 50,000. Uh, and that's where her main damage comes from. As you can see, her damage is really low, fighting Hulk with regular hits. And that's kind of the problem with her, because if you had a Star-Lord, or a Sparky, or a Medusa, when you're doing your regular hits, oh, here comes my SP2. As you can see, it did a lot of damage, which is pretty sweet. And that's what basically you're going to have to do. You're going to have to keep on doing that SP2. But what I was talking about, if you had a, a Star-Lord or a Sparky, and as you're fighting, you're still doing quite a lot of damage, even if you don't have, you know, your max combo. You know, Star-Lord's hitting pretty hard at 50 hits in a row, 60 hits in a row. Uh, with Proxima, if you if you die, you gotta start all the way from the beginning. You gotta you gotta heal all the way back up, uh, and you gotta start right from the very get-go again, which is quite annoying. You can also see uh, Red Hulk, since he's got that resistance, uh, the SP2, the last SP2 I did, it didn't do a lot of damage. So sometimes uh, when he's got his resistance down, you're going to hit really hard, and sometimes you're not. Or it's going to be a combination. See, see right there? I might have did, what, 12,000, 15,000 there with the SP2? And uh, it's pretty painful to watch when you're trying so hard to stay alive. Uh, again, I'm not doing too many intercepting here. I was just trying to showcase her and see if she could get through it uh, on a solo, solo ability. I think she'd be better once I get a little better at intercepting with her. We're getting close to the SP2 again. That's going to basically bait out this SP1. I don't like bringing him to SP2. Yes, I can dodge SP2, but I just don't like it. So we got two 50,000s in there, so that's 100,000. Uh, you resisted the first one a little bit. So the big question, uh, should you R4 her? I'm not upset that I R4'd her. Uh, I think she's a really fun champ to use. I think I'd be upset if I brought her to R4 just for Labyrinth of Legends. Uh, there, there's just so much you have to do to get her to the damage. And one mistake, you're gonna have to start all over again. And uh, though she's not a bad choice, I still think Star Lord and, uh, and Sparky and Medusa and Blade, of course, are, are still better overall options. I think she's going to be good in some fights. Uh, I took her against Star-Lord, which I'll post later on. And uh, she consistently does the 50,000 on every strike, which is nice. Uh, obviously we don't see it here on Hulk, because he's got that damn resistance, which basically he takes no damage almost for some of those SP2s. You know, I, I kind of see her as, as a utility champ that you can take to Labyrinth of Legends if you have to. She doesn't hit that hard on a normal basis, but she's got cool abilities. She's got the uh, SP1 that can uh, that can heal block, and if the opponent is regenerating, it even does more uh, abilities. Uh, she's got the True Strike, and the tr True Strike is really nice. Uh, it happens every time you complete part of the mission. 
So if you have six uh, parries, after every parry, you get that true strike for four seconds. And that's pretty cool, you know, against a Spider-Man or a Medusa with uh, that auto parry feature that she has that drives everybody nuts. But then sometimes your missions are random. So let's say you go against Spider-Man on a stun resistant node and your first mission is to parry. Well, there goes your true strike because you can't parry you can't parry Spider-Man on a stun resistant node. So sometimes she's going to be awesome on those nodes like that, and other times she's going to be in big trouble. I, I really enjoy her though, and uh, I'm not upset that I air forward her. I think I'm going to use her a lot. Uh, I plan to take her into the um, uncollected here. Yes, I haven't done uncollected yet. I usually start off with hero and master. I kind of like to see new opponent's maneuvers before I jump into uncollect it. Uh, just because it can save some revives and I'm in no big hurry, to be honest with you. There's a 50. 150 out of the three, not bad. Obviously, if you get on a roll, it doesn't take too many hits to take him down. Like I'm. I'm getting pretty close. I know I haven't impressed everybody with my intercepting skills, but like I said, I, uh, I don't know her well enough. I found Star-Lord much easier to intercept with her. Red Hulk's just... he's a little more random. Getting close to assassin range. Of course, assassin range won't do anything with that SP2 because I'm already capped out. I was getting pretty nervous here. Are we getting down to the end? I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I really appre appreciate all the subscribers and the likes and the dislikes, even and comments. Uh, I was a little overwhelmed the other day. It was great to see uh, everyone come in and, and support the channel. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, we'll see you soon and take care.